how else could movement building and mass participation uh, help transform society? And that's what we're working on at Purpose. We're thinking at Purpose, not just at how you build political movements, but now what can some of the insights from that uh, be used to do things like scale demand for the green economy, right? The demand for the green economy is sort of in a rut. There isn't large-scale demand for it. What if we tried to build a movement around that and organize people in a systematic way? Well, uh, the results of our research um, really are two main conclusions that I want to share with you today. And the first is a little startling, and it may create a little bit of, uh, of disequilibrium. And that is that uh, I think we need to kill the language and imagery of green in order to have any real shot at scaling sustainable consumption. Sustainable consumption just isn't working right now, as we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, and we're going to have to kill green as a frame for consumers in order to try to rework that problem. Sustainable consumption just isn't working right now, as we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, and we're going to have to kill green as a frame for consumers in order to try to rework that problem. So they like the idea of green. It's a kind of a value that they're happy to cloak themselves in. You know, it's a brand value. Um, but the reality is, market share just isn't there, because as soon as it's even slightly difficult, they're out the door. So what do we do? So here are some things that I think we can do that might upend this situation. And as I said, it does require starting with killing green as a frame. We can't lead with green because most of the green products that are out there start by knocking on the front door and hitting you on the head and saying, you know, we're green, OK? Do the right thing. We need a radically different approach to the way we introduce this issue to consumers. We need to put green aside. The answer, we think, is to get behind the businesses that are at this intersection of mass participation where you can get lots of people in a network, you can grow market share very quickly. Um, and these new forms of businesses that are green, but don't knock on the door and announce themselves as green. If we can do that, if we can create a new economy that takes these models that can very quickly acquire market share, and we can give people a sense that they're part of something much bigger, we'll build the green economy, but we just won't talk about it, and we won't say that we're doing it.